Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and today is Friday. I think it's the 26th today. I think it is. I can't remember what day it is. I mean, I know it's Friday, but the day. Yep, my phone says it's the 26th today. Sometimes without my phone, I'd be lost as far as what day it is. Um, yeah, anyways, yeah. Um, how is everybody today? I hope everybody, or maybe you had a good day. Um, anyways, um, oh, as you can see, yeah, the barn's empty. Because we let the cows out last night, so yeah, we gotta get the cows in. Um, here, because I gotta go to town. Um, this morning, I gotta help my brother get them in, because he can't get them on all alone, because they get mixed up. They don't know to remember where they go. I mean, they're not too bad, but they need a little help. And there's everybody's favorite kitty cat, Sylvester. Hey, Sylvester. What do you know today? Do you know it's gonna snow this weekend, they say? <laughs> uh, yep, it's supposed to snow this weekend. We're supposed to get a lot of rain. It's gonna be kind of a rainy weekend here. But yeah, so anyways, I gotta run to town here. I have to get the cows in. Um, at the end of the month here, I got to pay some uh, property tax stuff here at the end of the month so I don't forget. So I got to run a, run a couple errands or so in town and get that done otherwise the day gets away. And uh, so, um, so we're up a little, we're getting going here a little sooner this morning so um we get that done and my brother's got to he's gonna cl finish cleaning out the dry cow shed here after chores and uh put it all what's all gonna happen here today yet um, i'm probably gonna work on that plow later today but we'll see what happens but uh these guys gotta they seem like they're anxious to come in the barn so so we'll get these guys coming in the barn and then um get them locked up in their stalls and i gotta go to town and take care of some business and then uh i'll be back and uh we'll see uh see what we get done here today i don't know it's supposed to start raining it's supposed to start raining here tonight sometime they say so yeah, it's going to be kind of a crappy weekend, even going into next week, so won't get out in the field, but I guess keep fixing on equipment, so but I'll get back with you guys later. I need some I need a pioneer tip like this. Let's see if I could find one. I don't know this one. Um over here. Huh. I don't know. They don't have a big selection here. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Okay, um, as you can see, I'm back to town. Back from town. I've been back from town for actually a few hours now. Yeah, and I'm just working at the feeding chores. And um, yeah, and um, so when I get done with the feeding chores, well. I might work, I might uh, do a little bit of work at the plow. It's like uh, three hydraulic hoses. I would like to get out of the plow yet, but then uh, 
And after that, I think I'm gonna. Well, I know I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go over to my cousin's place, where I was at yesterday, helping get the combine engine out. And uh, he wants me to come back over again today and help with some more things on it. Try to get ready to get into the tractor. Um, his nephew was gonna help, but. Uh, He's got something else going on, I think. So, so he just needs, he just needs like some, some coaching or helping with it. He doesn't understand that stuff, all that stuff. So he just needs, you know, just needs a little bit of help. So, um, I gotta go help him. You know, I think he wants to try to stick the engine back in there, but I don't know if we can get that stuck back in there in the day again or not. Things that we have to take off the old engine. I guess I never explained why why we have to do that. Taking the other engine out is because the other engine was in his, <coughs> in his track. <coughs> his um, one of the uh, main bearings went out. The crankshaft has to be replaced. Um, you know, he's my cousin's got a little tight for money, so he doesn't want to spend all the money overhauling it and. And he got a good deal on this combine. I mean, actually, he bought this combine from another relative of his. And so he, he didn't pay very much for it, so he got this engine in his combine. So I guess, so I guess that's what he wants to do, is like say, put that in the engine. I'm not for sure the cubic inches on the engine. I'm not sure what a 6620 Jr. combine has in it for cubic inches. I don't know if it's a 466 or not. You know, like a giant 420 is a 404. And so I, I don't know what it what it is that he has in there if it's a if it's a uh, 404 engine or not, I don't know. But it's what my cousin wants to do, so I'm just I'm just helping him out. Like I said, it's, it's what he wants, so. So anyway, with all that said, that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I get done with the feeding chores here, and put those hoses on the plow, I'm gonna go over there and help him with that. I told him some stuff that he needs to get ready to do on it. I don't know if he get everything done, or if he's gonna get it exactly done right, but I gotta have to look over it and make sure that he got it right. What I told him to do, just gonna double check. So. Anyway, that's what's going to be going on here this afternoon. And we're supposed to get snow tonight. They, even, I just, they just said on the radio a little while ago that we, we could be blowing and drifting snow tomorrow. And today is like, or tomorrow is going to be the 27th of April. Um, it's going to be like the latest that we've ever got an accumulation snow that's accumulated. Accumulated snow. This will be the latest that we've ever gotten. This much accumulated snow if we get 35 inches. So, yep. The world is not getting warmer. Global warming is not happening. It's global cooling, not global warming. It, uh, that was the thing that somebody was saying back in the 70s. They were saying that we were headed towards another ice age. And now everybody's preaching or saying that the world's supposed to get warmer. If it's getting warmer to me, I don't know. Maybe some of those people are smoking weed that think the world's getting warmer. I don't know. Uh, whatever.
gosh, I tell you, I just hate it when that happens. Yeah, I was just uh, loading the feeder wagon here for the milk cows, uh, getting the silage on anyways. And uh, yeah, what is the one thing that you always have to do every so often on a stave silo um, when you're using out of it? You have to set the unloader down. Well, I guess uh, it, it told me. Um, usually I have like a guide string to gauge the distance about when you have to set down. I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. And so, uh, um, yeah, it's up there. So, yep. So the uh, blower, the blower dropped down. So, um, yeah. So now I got to go up to the, I got to go up this dusty chute and, uh, Talk with the pigeons up there. I hear a pigeon up there. <laughs> so, yep, I gotta go up there and uh, try to monkey around with that thing. Oh, I hate that. It's just, a, it's just a pain in the neck when that thing happens. So, I guess I better go up there and go up that dusty chute. Well, I made it. I don't know how well you can see me. It's a little bit darkish up here, but I made it up to the silo, or up to the silo loader. Yeah, this is what always happens. This pipe is supposed to be straight up there. It's supposed to be sticking up higher, but I gotta take and drop it down. Uh, I gotta drop down where I'm crawling through. Oh, I'm gonna set you guys over here. Uh, stay put. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. This is never fun. How'd you get up there, you pigeon? You're not supposed to be in here. I don't know how that pigeon got in here. I thought I had all the holes sealed up. They squeezed through someplace. Ah. Uh. Don't you poop on me, you pigeon. <laughs> well, um, uh, I guess I'm gonna get this thing off. So, I'll just see if I can uh, speed things up here a little bit. And, well, you'll see speeded up version, but I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna have to fight with it for a little bit, but we'll see. It's coming out, it's filling up the feed wagon, and I made sure I lowered my um, gauge string back down. So, um, so now I just gotta try to pay a little closer attention to that thing. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna head over to my cousin's place here. He wants the hay grinder back, putting his shed here, and uh, I'm gonna bring some tools and stuff along a torque wrench and. Oh, I forgot. I got to get one more thing. Uh, I need to bring an impact wrench along here before I go. He doesn't have. He doesn't have a powerful enough impact. This one has a half-inch drive with a thousand foot-pounds of torque in reverse. So, that. so um. Oh. We gotta do that here. I'm just gonna get this thing warming up here and uh, um, go there. This thing's gonna warm up here and uh, head up, head over there a little bit and uh, come back to sing in his shed over there. And eventually, he's gonna grind hay with it. I don't know if I'm going to get to work on the plow or not yet here. I'll see. Maybe I'll get some time here yet this evening. We'll see. Now we got the flywheel on here. Got the other one off there. And we got a few things we got to change. We got a few 
few things yet to change in here. And a um, few things to take off that motor and to put on this motor. Yep. Okay, um, I'm heading back to my cousin's place over there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just unhooked the hay grinder over there. And, uh, yeah, as you saw, I guess we got worked on the engine. We, he wanted to get it back in his machine shit over there, so that way um, um, he could work on take a few things off there, minor things off there. Off the other engine put on the new one, but yeah. So. Yep, so I'm driving down the road here with the new to us TG210. Going about 23 miles per hour. 22 there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to get uh, Still got enough room to drive the feeder wagon in here. I know we need to readjust it. Parker, or Brent, gravity box, that needs to go back in there further. And, uh, yeah. I hate it when we got to store gravity boxes in here, but I guess we have to do that when we got seat oats. And then we got that other gravity box back behind there that has the, um, the soybeans on there yet that, uh, we need to get rid of. That we're still waiting on to get rid of, but yeah. So it's uh, yep, end of another day. So and there's rain a coming, more rain, more wet weather. So, but yeah. So I think tomorrow my cousin, or tomorrow Saturday. So I think. My cousin, he'll be able to get that other stuff tomorrow. I pretty much told him what to do, but if I said, if you have any questions, give me a call. But I guess if you could just get that little bit of stuff done and then we get the engine. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know if he wants me to help put the engine in or not, but. Or if he'll have his nephew come over and help. Maybe we'll both come over and help. Help him get the engine back in the tractor. But I know he wants to get it in and get it. Use it for field work, so. See how it goes. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, I gotta go and eat something here, and then I gotta go milk cows again. So, so uh, yeah, I apologize. Today's video wasn't a whole lot of stuff, and I didn't get to that all dang plow. I want to get that plow done. Oh, I want to get it done. But uh, I don't know. I still might go up there and screw one of those hoses in there yet, quick. So, okay, well, I think that's going to be it for today, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And uh, thank you to everybody that has taken the time to hit that subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman, and um, please check out all my other videos. And I hope I can get you guys some field work and planting videos here soon if the weather just cooperates and it just I hate it when it does this all of a sudden when it is time to go it's just like complete chaos just like you just gotta go 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 because you know time is of the essence you know and you know we should be seeding small grain in April but that's not the way um, spring is going anymore spring is coming later every year um, is the way it is but 
I guess that's what we have to deal deal with, so we gotta deal with it. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Take care and I'll catch you later.